this is our beer mug and we're going to see if you're going to be able to see this because I've got six clear 160s here all with about a four or five inch tail left uninflated on the end of them as you can see there. I've got a white 160 with about a five or six inch tail uninflated on it and then I've got a yellow 360. I've blown up about four or five inches of it and then tied off and removed the excess. All I needed was that little piece that's going to symbolize the drink in the middle of the Okay, I know you're wondering, what happened to all those clear 160s? Well, I traded them out because they're really difficult to see when you're filming, and also I find that if I'm weaving, if I use different colors, it's a lot easier to follow because you can tell where each balloon is going. So, we're gonna set our white and our yellow 360 aside, and then I've got six differently colored 160s inside of the clear so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna take three of those to start. It doesn't matter which three and we're gonna tie them together into a triplet, or a trio. So take, tie your first two together, just tie the nozzles together at the end there. Then grab your third one, and tie it in as well. Just wrap that around and then grab one of the other ends and tie it in, so that they're all securely tied together. So that you've got three of them together like that. Now we're going to take two of them, and it doesn't matter which two, and we're going to make a little pinch twist at the end of each one, and position them on the opposite sides. And what that does is that helps space them out and also forces them to, to lay a little more flat. Now we're going to start by taking any one of them, it doesn't matter which, and we're going to make a little small bubble in it about a half inch no bigger and then we're going to make a pinch twist right after that i've chosen the blue and i made a little small bubble a half inch and then a pinch twist then we're going to go to the yellow and do the same thing a small bubble and a pinch twist and then we're going to go to the red and complete that process we're getting our base started here so each each balloon now has a little small maybe a half inch bubble and a pinch twist. Now what we want to do, in order to get it to lay flat, you want to measure a bubble that if these are all spaced out like they're flat and evenly spaced, bubble that would go across, if you can see where I'm going from the yellow to the red there, and then find the halfway point of that bubble. Divide it, put a pinch twist, and then another bubble the same size as that one there. And now connect to your red, just like that. Now what we've done, you can see it's probably not gonna lay perfectly flat, but that's okay, that's not a major crisis at this point. I've taken that yellow, and instead of going straight across to the red here, I've put a pinch twist in the middle where it would make a break. And that's where we're gonna attach one of our other six in a minute. Now we need to repeat the process with the blue and the red. So a bubble the same size as that, a pinch, and then a bubble just like that. So make your bubble. And then your pinch twist. And then another bubble. And then connect to your blue. And then repeat that process with your blue. And what you're basically going to end up with, or pretty close to it, is a base just looking like that. It's not quite a triangular base, but by the time we get all our flutes running up with all of our pieces here, it's going to kind of fill in and make it look more round. So, you've got all three of those turned, and these are ready to go up to be your sides. And then we're going to take our other three 160s, and where we have this extra pinch twist in between the two that are running up, see there's one on each side, we're going to attach one of these other 360s to each of those points. So, let's take our first one here and attach it in right here. Just twist the end around that pinch twist. And then do the same with the next point. And then finally your last one. And what we're gonna get is these are gonna be the six sides of our glass that are gonna run up. And it gives it that fluted effect. I've got one that I completed in the clear, so you can kind of see it there. And you'll see it better when I put the inside, the 360 in for the beer. Now what you want to do, I'm going to set that in there for a moment. We're not going to leave it there because we still have to make the head of foam on it. But what I want to do 
is I want to make sure that where I twist these off, I'm going to run up till it's almost at the top of that 360 there. That's how tall I want those to be. So twist the bubble there and then put a pinch twist right there. And now we're just going to go around and duplicate that effect in each of our other six 160s. So just go around. And repeat that process all the way up. And then I'm going to pause and show you what we've done to this point. We started, remember, by tying our three together. And each of those three went up a pinch and over and across the pinch in the middle to connect back. So there's my blue one where it goes out and around and it comes up here. The yellow does the same thing, same and comes up there and then there's the red. Then we attach the green and orange and a pink in the middle. All of them come up. We put our bubble that's about five inches. And then we're just gonna connect all these together. So I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna make a little small bubble. It doesn't need to be very large. It's basically a spacer, about less than half an inch. And I'm gonna twist that into the green next to it. And then I'm gonna take the green, make that little small bubble. Yellow is next to it, so I'm going to twist it into the yellow. And let me just continue on around that way. Yellow is there. Next to it is the pink, so we're going to twist that into the pink. And I'm just twisting that into the pink twist at the top of each one. Grab the pink, make my little bubble, connect to the red. Take the red, make my little bubble, connect to the orange. And then finally my orange completes the mug by going around to the blue. Then we've got all of these pieces sticking up here. We're going to remove all of them except for one because we need to make a handle out of one. And so it doesn't matter which one you're going to use. I'm going to go ahead and take all of these off. And just secure that in. We won't need anything else out of that. edit all this out so it's good. Now, once I've trimmed all of those off but the last one, I'm going to take that and bring that around to the side. And then all I do is make a big loop and go straight down and connect it to the pinch twist at the bottom. Just like that. And then again, just pop off that excess. We don't need that either. And there's your basic beer mug. And you can see how you get that fluted effect with all of those six sides running up in there. And then we're going to take our yellow. Now I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to switch beer mugs. I have my completed clear one here because that way you'll be able to see it on the inside. So I'm going to take my yellow 360 that we had earlier and my white 160 that we didn't use. And I'm going to tie the white 160 onto the end of the piece of 360 that we have there. Now we need to make our head of foam that's going to be on the top. And really all that's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to make a pinch twist right there where it starts. And then I'm going to come out with a little bubble. And it shouldn't, you want that bubble not to extend past the end of the 360 there widthwise. And then I'm going to make a pinch twist there. Secure. Now I'm just going to make a string of pearls. And I'm just going to wrap around that. Make a string of pearls. Until it goes completely around. I lost my pinch in the middle there. Until you come back to your originating pinch twist there. Just like that. And then I'm going to go cross over the top. And when I get one on the other side, it doesn't matter which, I'm going to turn it into a pinch twist and then lock into that. 
and then I'm just going to come back across again to another side and I'm just going to kind of keep interlocking and going back and forth over these and locking it in until I get the desired effect however much foam I want to be on my mug of beer. I'm going to cross over one more time. This time I'm not going to lock it in initially. I want this thing to have a lot of foam. I'm going to go all the way around so it comes down to the bottom on the other side and we'll just kind of wrap under it a little bit secure it. Got a gap there. Look for gaps and make sure you get it kind of filled in however you want it to be. Lost the bubble there. Not that that's a major crisis. There's not really a a set pattern that you can follow is just however you want it to look. And eventually twist it back in. And it looks pretty crazy right now. But once we get it locked in, we'll be able to twist it all together. What a mess I'm making here. Does that look like a great head of foam? No. <laughs> Let's start over. Uh, I'm having fun. I'm making a mess. <clears throat> Pinch twists aren't thin, curls aren't thin. Just let it run and I'll edit it back out. I've got I seven know. hours. Okay. Okay, now once we've got that tied onto the end, what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by making a pair of pinch twists right there where that connects onto it. That just gives me a base to work with. And then I'm going to just make a string of pearls and just kind of wrap around. When I get to the other side, I'm going to tuck it back into that pinch twist and just kind of come out at the top. And then come back down around again. <clears throat> Excuse me. And tuck back underneath just to kind of fill it in a little bit. And just choose whatever pattern you like. It really, there's not a set pattern. You just really want to get a whole bunch of pearls all just kind of clumped together to simulate foam on the top of this, and once you've got it where you more or less want it, I'm going to take the end of that and pull it back up underneath again. Pop the excess off there. Go ahead and tie that. So I've got this nice clump of pearls sitting on top of that. And then all we need to do is we're going to take that and kind of open up the mouth of your mug and just stick the yellow 360 down inside there. Pull it all the way in. And you've got your head of foam sticking up on top there. And there you've got a beer mug full of beer. <laughs>